So I'm aligning the IS300 tonight and I figured I'd make a quick one cut video on how to do easy and effective alignments in your in your own home garage using jack stands, strings, blocks of wood, and tape measures. That's it. I've done this method in the past many times, probably 15 times I'd say in the past 10-15 years. And back when I worked in the dealer, I have tested this method by putting cars, for instance this car, which was aligned with strings and I did verify that it has a perfect alignment by putting it on a brand new Hunter Hawkeye alignment rack. So if you make your measurements correctly, this is a very effective way to set your toe. This is only for setting toe, not camber, not caster, just toe. So this car, I put a inner tie rod on it last fall and I've been having some crazy toe issues in the front ever since. So um, I actually didn't even remember which side I put the inner tie rod on, but now that I've strung it up, I know where I need to make my adjustments. So just for uh, video purposes here, I've set the car up and I'm ready to make my adjustments at this point right now. What I use is some 4x4 blocks. You can use jack stands. My car's on a lift right now, but the lift is down. It's just there holding the car in case like it falls off the blocks, I guess. But set the parking brake and it's on 4x4 blocks. That way you can crawl underneath it and set the toe on the inner tie rod. Once you get it up on the blocks, you need to center the car in between two strings. And for visual purposes, I left my tape measures out here. I usually leave them out anyway, but we're at 64 and 3 quarter inches there. And we're at 64 and 3 quarter inches in the back here on the strings. As you can see there. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you set up your strings on the inside of the jack stand there. You don't want them in the middle, you want them on the inside, as far as you can get on the inside, all four of them. Make sure that they're on the inside so you can effectively get the closest measurements that you can. See how it's on the inside? And this one also is on the inside. All four of them are on the inside there. So I got my measurements for uh, visual purposes here. I, I, I drew it out. I always draw it out so that I can remember. I have 64 and 3 quarters on the strings there as you can see. And I have 2 and 3 quarter, or 2 and a quarter from the center cap of the wheel. So generally when you do alignments like this especially, you want to put your OEM wheels back on. I'm lazy here and I left my aftermarket wheels on. But uh, it, it ended up that these works have the same exact uh, faces. So my measurement is exactly the same. You want to measure it from the center line of the wheel. So the center line, the center line being in the middle of the wheel here. I have two and three quarter inches, or two and a quarter I think it was, from the string to the center of the center cap. As you can see in my illustration here that I measured, two and a quarter on each wheel. So my, my faces ended up being the same. Your measurements may be different from front to rear, especially if you have a Volkswagen for sure. A Volkswagen, you're gonna have a, 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 a wider tracking in the front and BMW also has a wider tracking in the front. But um, for, for this IS300, and I can verify on like Golden Era Hondas, they're all gonna be the same. So for this car, they're all the same. But let me, I just want to let you know, if you have like a Volkswagen or a BMW, the rear, you're going to have a little more gap here than in the front if you have the car centered. So you want to make sure that you have the same measurement on each side. So two and a quarter here, and I have two and a quarter here. If you have a Volkswagen, you're going to want, say, two and three quarters here, and two and three quarters here. You want to make sure, <clears throat> make sure that the front and rear match each other so that the car is perfectly aligned with the two strings. You don't want the car crooked, right? Once you get it all strung up and you verify it, it only took me maybe 20 minutes to do this, and I've done it a whole bunch, so I have kind of a rhythm going, but you have a lot of adjusting to do. 
on the uh, jack stands to get it perfect. It took me about 20 minutes to get it right. Once I got it right, I'm ready to make my adjustments. So uh, you can see what I use is a, a vernier caliper. And you can see on my illustration here that uh, I got 5.5 millimeters here in the front. And just by visually looking at it, I can see that this side here is where I put the uh, inner tie rod on. You can see that there's a lot less of a gap in the front than there is in the rear. So I got toe out here like crazy. But if you go over this side, where it is aligned, it's perfect. So I got 5.5 millimeters on my vernier caliper right there. And I got 5.5 millimeters right there. Now on this side over here, I got toe out. So my 5.5 doesn't fit, right? I got three millimeters here. And then I got eight millimeters here. So I know, I gotta let my string settle. So I know I gotta bring the uh, inner tie rod out over here. And it's gotta be 5.5 millimeters because it has to match the other side. That's how I do at home alignments. Super easy, basically free. These are all stuff that everybody should have in their garage anyway. And I just wanted to share with you guys a quick, easy way to set your toe without having to go to an alignment rack.